hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am sharing my latest update on my project finish 50 pan still not too sure what i call this uh, i'm basically trying to finish 50 items i'm not rolling them all in at once i'm kind of doing them like a conveyor belt kind of vibe anyway um so far i think we've finished three items however we have completed more so i'll be sharing with that with you now and yeah i also want to say i'm so close to 600 subscribers so if you haven't already hit subscribe like this video all of that stuff it really helps me out a lot this has been in since the beginning of the project like most of these have to be honest and it's this I am very very happy to say this is finished um I actually finished it like quite recently towards the end it got like really liquidy and like watery and kind of really bad so I kind of knew it was happening and I knew I was gonna finish it but I can officially say that I have finished it it took me 118 uses since I rolled it into this project and I rolled it in when it was like that far down and I got there for December so I'm very happy with myself that I managed to do that so I have rolled in a new foundation which I will share with you guys at the end of the video as I do them all in the order that I have rolled them into so that means I have 46 items to go as I have finished four items out of the 50 then we have for the bronzer I rolled in is my NARS Laguna and I want to share with you guys the update here of course the um if anything it's just that the pan is just getting ever so bigger it's quite fun to see actually and like notice how much bigger the pan's getting so i've used this 72 times since i started this project as well then for the blush i have rolled in was the revolution london ultra blush palette and i rolled in the sick so this is the ultra blush palette and hot spice i should say so the sixth this one here and this month you can actually see now the rings you can see the rings are forming so we are getting closer to a pan i still think it's going to be like not until next year i'm fairly certain we'll have still no pan until like january february time this quarter i definitely noticed a lot more that this is getting a lot more pickup and it is you know beginning to show the rings so progress is happening which is very very exciting because for months it felt like nothing was happening with this it's taken like the longest amount of time for any progress to show i'm not really too sure why maybe it's quite hard part i'm excited now to finally see some progress actually like really showing and that i can see so i have used this 240 times i actually use this every single time i wear makeup i use this blush three times i've used makeup in the last year and a quarter or so since i la since i started this project so there we go all right progress on the highlighter this is the monster super shock Cho uh, super shock cheek in the shade monster by colourpop and obviously we already hit pan on this which is quite an easy pan but this is what it's looking like now and as you can see the pan has definitely got bigger i wouldn't say it's doubled in size but it's definitely got bigger so progress is coming along quite well for this one and i have used this 72 times since i started this project okay this is one that i'm quite happy about so this is my MOA makeup academy uh eyeshadow trio in the shade emotions and i have rolled in the darkest shade which is this one on the on the left or so this one here now you can actually see today that we have got like a big old dip forming that has happened over this past quarter how exciting is that so it, it's taken a long time as i said i've had this rolled in since the beginning so since july 2022 or so i've used it 72 times and only this quarter has it really 
made it obvious that I'm working on this. It must be like a really hard pan shell and then as you go inside it gets softer because I have definitely noticed in more recent weeks that I'm picking up the product much more easier. I'm not having to like properly like hard scrub the eyeshadow to try and pick up any uh, product. Things are happening, things are moving. We shall see how this goes. I definitely don't think I'll be anywhere near finishing this for quite a while, but it's still fun to use. And it's quite a nice eyeshadow. Now that I've reached the point where it has better coverage, um, it's really, really nice to wear. I have used this 69 times since I started rolling this into my project. So this is definitely the failure of this project, and that is this little thing. This is my Beauty Bakery Gelato Black Milk uh, Black Eyeliner. I've used it 28 times since I started this project, and um, that's like barely at all. <laughs> that's really bad. I'm just really bad at using eyeliners. You know, I just keep forgetting. I'm just not in a stage where I think I can can suit eyeliners right now and I used to be obsessed with eyeliners so it's a bit of a mare really that I'm struggling to use this up. We're gonna see, this is probably gonna be like the one of the items that's gonna be here the longest let's be honest. Um, I'm doing it in like a rolling £50 so although I've got these rolled in these might not be finished at the time I finished this project. Then in then for the lip product I have like the colored lip product colored lip product I'm actually wearing it today it's quite muted I'd say this is the Paradise Pigment lip cream lip cheek cream in the shade Fig Jam by Jelly Pom Pom and I have used this 44 times I have actually just recently rolled out a couple of eye, uh, lip products in some other projects so I can actually use this a lot more now but this is where we are at currently and as you can see we've definitely got a dip that's definitely come through over the last like couple of months I feel like probably because I've been using it a lot more over the last couple of months as I've just rolled out the other eye, lip products for the concealer, we're still working on this one. This is the Fenty Beauty Porcelain Matchsticks. And as for progress, let's see where we are at. Oh, actually, this is not far off now. I feel like we've probably used about half of this now, which is not too bad. I mean, it has taken a year and a quarter to get here, but anyway, I've used this 111 times since the start of this project. That's where we're at right now and we are going to still crack on. This is the only concealer I've got currently rolled in at, at the moment so I feel like I'm making some proper damage with this currently as I'm only using this one currently. If that makes sense. For the fragrance um, I've got this. This is the Zoella Blissful Mistful Fragrance Body Mist. Still hate it a lot but I'm using it just for the sake of trying to finish it I guess at the moment. Um, I do still tend to use this a lot as like a room like a room scent refresher where we will call it. Why can I not remember what the word is I don't know but this is where we're at with this and we have used this one 53 times sorry I'm looking at my iPad for the numbers. I've used this 53 times since I rolled it into the project. This is going to take a long time to get through. I don't think I even sprayed this today. Oh, I forgot to get a product. Okay, the nail polish I have rolled in is my Colour Club Nail Look Here in the shade Barely There. And this is where we're up to right now. So, we can see, I think I, that's not even a mark. So this is where we were last quarter was where we were with the purple. We were just above there. Now we are like just below it, I would say. If I spin it around, you can see there's some more obvious open windows here. I have used this 79 times. Again, I think I've mentioned before, a usage for me is a nail as I always have my nails 
different colours, just how it like how I like to play it around with them. And so whenever I pick this colour, I usually just do it on like one nail at a time. So I add the usage of that each time. So yeah, 79 times does not mean I've done my whole set of nails 79 times, it just means a nail, a finger has been painted. So anyway, that's that's where we're at with that one. Then for the brows, I'm still working on this little pencil. Um, since this last update, we have made some progress. I think I've also sharpened it a couple of times. So we are now near these icons down here and it's definitely getting a little bit shorter. It's really hard to see as I don't, I'm not wearing my glasses so I can't quite see the focus quite well but hopefully that was in focus a little bit. Anyway, I have used this one, let me just double check, 86 times since I rolled it in. This was rolled in since May of this year as well. And then as well as my Jelly Pong Pong lip product, I also wanted to roll in a uh, lip salve as well. So this is the one that's currently rolled in. This is the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm and we are currently at let me double check, 55 uses with this and we still have quite a bit left to go so it's definitely one that's going to take a while to get through who knows how long it's going to take me I'm not someone who like constantly lip salves their lips so uh, it's not too surprising that it's taking a little bit of a long time and as of literally this month this is now rolled in. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation in the shade Shell. And to be fair, we're not starting like from the beginning either. I feel like we're like around about here, like where the double wear text is here. So we've got just under half of the um, product left in the package I would say. Now that I've finally finished my Tarte foundation I can work on foundations that actually work for me. This is the oldest foundation I own. So I actually have the stats for this. So I bought this in April 2017. I started it December 28th 2017 and I finished it like a week ago in October. And then we have the one top stats of this. My oldest foundation was bought in January of 2017. I started this in December of 2017. Yeah, I don't have any foundations that are older than 2017. So the only reason why I rolled in this one was because this is the only foundation I own that was the wrong shade for me. So I wanted to work on that first and get it out the door so I could work on foundations that do work for me and just enjoy them. So yeah, that is my update. That's where I'm at with my Project 50 currently and I'm looking forward to seeing what we can get up to in the next quarter. So yeah, um, I'll be doing my next update of this in January. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update and my progress of where I'm at. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.